Okay, this will be part two of our lesson 8.1, Relations and Functions, because we will continue on with example three and four in this video. So in this example, we want to tell whether the relation is a function. And so in order to be a function, okay, and I'll write this down. To be a function, every domain is paired with exactly, and this is the key word here, one range. So each input value is paired with exactly one output value. So think about that function machine. If you put in a value for x and you do a mathematical calculation, every time you put that same number in, you should get that same output. The last example, example 2, showed us putting in a 2 and sometimes getting 0 and sometimes getting 2. That's, that's not right. That's not a function. That does not represent a function for that reason. So when we look at, now one thing you might want to do in this is either graph it, because in our fourth example we'll be showing how we can look at a graph and perform a test to see if it's a function, or you could do the mapping um, diagram in order to see that. And we have the ordered pairs, 1, 60, 2, 100, 3, 160, 4, 210, and 5, 270. I see distinct input values of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's no repeated input, so every domain is paired with exactly one range. Therefore, the answer would be yes. Okay, so every input is paired with exactly one output. Looking at part B, 2 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 0 comma 0, and negative 1 comma 1. The 2's are the part that make it a problem. The 1 going to an output of 1 and the negative 1 going to an output of 1 is not a problem. Okay? It is where you have the 2 going to 0 and then going to 2. So since you have a 2 paired with two different outputs, it is not a function. And finally, we're going to look at the graphs to tell whether the relation represents a function. So when we look at the graph um, for, for A and for B, it's a vertical line test. So basically, or sometimes called a pencil test. You could take your pencil right, and kind of go this way. And if it only comes in contact with one oops, B, 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 problem, it's coming in contact with two points right there at two. Sometimes two is paired with one, and sometimes it's paired with negative one. Then it is not a function. Okay? So I don't know how to do this on the video, but let's see if I maybe highlight. So if I am running my pencil and looking at each point, let's see each point, and I do a vertical test here, there's only one point there, one point there, but there are two points there. Therefore, the answer would be no. It is not a function because the vertical line would pass through the, the points 2, comma, negative 1 and 2, comma, 1. OK, 
Okay, looking at B, performing the vertical line test. Run your pencil across the graph to see if at any point that's only one point there, one point there, one point there, and one point there. Therefore, it would be yes, it only comes in contact with one point.